Thank you for choosing Outline Sprayer Drone. In order to make it easier for you to operate our sprayer drone, please read the user manual carefully before use and operate our sprayer drone strictly in accordance with the user manual. Before you begin, check all of the included parts listed on the table in the box and read the operating manual. Make sure you fully understand the functionality of each individual part, the flat condition requirements, the key contingency warning functions, systems, and all government regulations before each flight. If you have any questions on problems during assembly, maintenance, or use of these products, please contact all an after sale department or all an authorized dealer. Pre-flight checklist. Remote controller and the drone batteries are fully charged. Every part is in good condition. Propellers are in good condition and have been unfolded. Frame arms are unfolded and the screws are firmly tightened. There's nothing obstructing the motors. You can test the motor on the ground to see if they are running in the right direction. Spring system works properly without any blockage. Calibrate compass and accelerometer before first flight. After long way transportation, crash big vibration, and calibrate GPS again at new flight location 50 km away. After opening the menu, the second button in the left row is the parameter setting. In the spray setting, the first item is the liquid protection. When the pesticide is low, you can choose to make the drone return, hover, or land after hovering. The first button is to turn off the liquid protection. In general, selecting the setting to hover works best. The next three options are liquid type, level type, and work mode. Those settings do not need to be changed, they are already set by default. Drag the interface down to the bottom, and there is a spray auto pump switch. After this switch is turned on, the water pump will automatically work during automatic spraying and AB line spraying, so that there is no need to press the D button to control the pump. The last one is flow meter calibration. When the drone is flying, if the drone hovers with any remaining pesticides in medicine tank, then you need to click this switch to perform flow meter calibration. After turning on the switch, add more than 6 liters of water into the medicine tank. Enter the volume equal to the water you added. Click start and the calibration will be done automatically. The next column is the flight parameter settings. The first is the maximum speed of all-line drone. It represents the speed of the drone when you push the right rocker to the top in manual mode. The speed range is 0.5 to 10 meters per second. Remember to click save after making any changing. We do not recommend to change the setting for the maximum angle. The return altitude refers to the height above the ground during the drone returns when the power of the drone is low or the pesticide is insufficient. In the example of the video, the drone will rise vertically to 20 meters above the ground and then return to the starting point to land. The return altitude can be set according to personal needs. Remember to click save after making any changing.
The next two are the settings for AB line work. The first is the spring width. The second is the road speed. When planning the area of AB line work, a setting window will appear after you marking point A. You can set parameters there as well. The work and action is for automatic mode. You can decide whether to hover or return to the starting point after spring in work. U open means a U return switch. When this switch is turned on, the steering of the drone will be smoother in automatic flight. Course mode is usually set to manually control the drone's nose. There are three options here including manual control, automatic control, and pointing to the next target. This manual mode means that when in automatic flight, the heading needs to be manually adjusted to the road and the nose orientation. Automatic mode means that the course and the nose orientation are calibrated by the magnet compass. Target means that the front of the drone is always the same as the fly direction, and it will not be fly sideways or backwards. There is no need to change the last setting, back head direction. On the main interface of the remote control, the four buttons below are Connect, Record, Device Management, and My Profile. In the record interface, you can view the details of previous sprays. Device management is usually not required. And my profile includes account update, user guide, alarm message, record, chart history, agricultural team, and daily reports. In the map interface, the small house in the upper left corner is back to the home page. In the status bar, the first one is the signal strength of the remote control. The second is the voltage of the drone's battery. The third is the number of the satellites searched by the drone. The more satellites, the higher the accuracy. The fourth is the fly mode of the drone, which corresponds to the e-stick of the remote control. Now the e-stick in the video is on the far left and the drone is in attitude mode. The fifth is the spray switch. You can click this switch to adjust a spray mode. Progress bar can be dragged to adjust the flow, or tap it to manually enter a value. Now in the video is manual spraying. You may also choose the auto spray mode to control the nozzle. The flow unit in the status bar has now changed to liters per hectare. The last option is spray link. This means that you will be able to adjust the takeoff flow and flying max flow. Then the nozzle will automatically adjust according to the state of the drone. The sixth is the Terrain Following Radar Switch. At the bottom of the screen is the information board for the drone. Includes distance, area, real-time flow, altitude, speed, and spread flow. 
In the manual, the first one is remote control calibration. The four progress bar above correspond to the direction of the two rockers. The mode switch below corresponds to the e-stick. After clicking to start the collaboration, you need to push the two rockers to the four corners in turn. Then repeatedly toggle the e-stick and observe the change of the progress bar. Toggle the e-stick to the middle, click Get Mid Value. Then the calibration is complete. Next is the Join Channel Setup. Those settings are defaulted, then no need to be changed. The fail safe below represents the setting when the join is out of control. This may happen when the distance is too far or there's signal interference nearby. You can choose to make the drone return, land, hover, or land after hovering. The switch below is to continue spring when the drone is out of control. This switch is turned off in general. The first column of the next module is the sensor setting. Accelerometer calibration refers to if the fuselage is tilted when the drone takes off. In this case, the accelerometer needs to be calibrated. The only thing you need to do is just click once and then wait 10 seconds. The next one is magnet compass calibration. Usually, you don't need to use this option. You can toggle the e-stick 10 times and wait for the yellow light of the drone to be on, and then perform GPS calibration of the drone. The next column is the battery option settings. The first is low voltage protection. When it's closed, there will be only an alarm tone. When the battery is low, you need to manually land to replace the battery. You can also adjust to return, hover, or land after hovering. The rest of the options do not need to be set, and they are all defaulted. The second option from the bottom of the home page is the spring record. You may view all your historical spray records in detail. Each record is accompanied by a flight path. Red means no spring, green means spring road. The details interface includes username, start time, flight time, spray area, dose per hectare, spray dose, drone ID, spray space, and crop type. Each record represents a sortie. In the lower left corner, you can view the total spring area and sortie information.